First, let's talk about the spot rate yield curve. I've got an example drawn out here at the top. You can see time in years. So what this represents is just one year in the future, two years in the future, three years, etc. Below that, I've got spot rates. So what this 2% indicates is that if I wanted to buy, let's say a $1,000 bond today, it would pay 2% interest. So I'd get a $20 coupon payment along with my $1,000 back at the end of the year. But if I wanted to buy a two-year bond, then I would actually get a 4% interest bond, right? So that at the end of the first year, I'd get $40. At the end of the second year, I'd get the, my $1,000 back plus $40. And so we can do that all the way through up to seven years. But now with forward rates, this is the rate that makes us indifferent. So this is an arbitrage principle of, let's say, having a one-year bond. So... So I could I could be indifferent between having a one year bond that and then locking into a one year forward contract that starts one year from now versus just getting a two year bond. So let's take a look at what this looks like. So we can say the first the first one year forward rate is always just equal to the spot rate. But after that, we can use this formula, which shows us that the forward rate is equal to one plus that that year's um, spot rate discounted by that many years in the future divided by one plus the previous year's spot rate discounted by the number of years in the future the previous year was and then we just m subtract by one and so that gives us the one year spot rate that ends two years from now okay and so we can pull this out all the way to year seven and we can see that while the spot rate is increasing, um, the, the, the forward rate curve is increasing by a higher amount, but after the spot rate curve tails off, the forward rate curve starts to decrease. Now let's look at this with an actually example bond. Okay, so like we're, I was talking about, we'll say the bond pays a $1,000 principal or notional amount at the end of the bond. And we can say that the bond also has a coupon rate of, for example, let's say 6%, so it should be $60. Well, we'll find these cash flows. So in year one, the cash flow is $60, year two is $60, all the way through to year seven. But at year seven, we get that $1,000 notional, plus we get the $60 coupon payment. But how do we find the present value of all these cash flows? Well, all we have to do really is take um, the the payment or the, the cash flow for that year and divide by one plus the spot rate for that year and discount it by that number of years. So here we're going to see something interesting. So the payment we're going to get in one year is worth $58.82. So that's $60 we received one from year from now is worth $58.82. But six years from now, we also receive a $60 payment, but it, to, in today's value, the present value, it's only $51.12 because we're actually dividing it by um, a higher spot rate, also compounded with a larger time in the future. So we have to wait longer to get that money. The price of the bond is just going to be equal to the sum of all of the present value of all of these cash flows. So that's actually, you can see that right now this bond is selling at a discount, which means it's less than the notional amount. And that's because the coupon payment is actually less than the yield to maturity. The yield to maturity is going to be based on all of these spot rates. So let's say the coupon rate was actually 7%. Then we would see that this bond, where did I do? Oh, so is actually 7%. So then we'd see that this bond actually sells at a premium, meaning the bond price is higher than the notional amount. But what if we increase one of these uh, spot rates and made the yield to maturity higher than the actual coupon payment? So let's say instead of 6.5%, seven years in the future, the interest rate's actually 10%. Well, now the yield to maturity is 9.02%, and now we greatly decrease the value of this bond price. And you can see it makes the forward curve for that year absolutely crazy because it increased so much for that year. Well, anyways, if you want to play around with this spreadsheet, I have a free download uh, template in the description as with all of my um, Excel-based videos. And I hope you enjoyed watching. Thank you.